These farmers adopt half sheep, half human girl, but she destroys their life. There's this totally epic fantasy and mystery drama from 2021 called Lamb. Brace yourselves. Spoilers are coming. So there's a crazy snowstorm and a bunch of horses freak out over some mysterious creature. And guess what? This huffing and puffing creature sneaks into a barn and gets the sheep all riled up. Now meet Ingvar and Maria, this rad couple living up in the Icelandic mountains. They're just living the simple life, taking care of their sheep and growing veggies on their farm. It's like a real life fairy tale out there. They're all alone up there, so they spend tons of time together, either chatting it up or doing chores around the house. One day, Maria's all pumped about the sheep count, thinking they're better off than last year. But Ingvar's like, nah, we don't need more sheep. No point spending money on that. He's chill like that. But then she starts complaining about the tractor acting up again. And he's like, okay, okay, let's get it fixed before planting season. Little did they know that their life was about to go haywire. Done, done, done. One of their sheep pops out a mind-blowing hybrid lamb that's half sheep, half human. Yeah, I know, wild stuff. But guess what? The farmer couple, Maria and Ingvar, they're like, hey, this little hybrid cutie is part of our fam now. They don't have any kids of their own, so they shower all their love on this little lamb baby named Ada. They go all out for Ada, even getting her a fancy baby cart to chill in their bedroom. Total VIP treatment, you know? They don't give a hoot when Ada's biological mom tries to get her back. She's all, hey, I made his mom. But Maria's like, nah, girl, she's our girl now. But here's the kicker. Ingvar's feeling kind of down deep inside. He's sad they don't have their own biological child, but he keeps that pain on the down low because he doesn't want to hurt Maria. So he's out there trying to fix the tractor and his dog's like, dude, check out something weird in the field. But they can't make heads or tails of it. Time rolls on and Ada's mom just won't give up. She keeps showing up outside the farmhouse, hoping to get a glimpse of her baby. But Maria's like, sorry, lady, Ada's with us now. One fine morning, Maria heads out to work in the fields, leaving Ingvar in charge of Ada. But whoopsie daisy, he forgets to close the front door before going to work in the shed. Uh Uh-oh, trouble might be brewing. So as they both stroll back into the house, Maria's like, hey, where's Ada? And he's all, don't worry, I put her to sleep before we came out. But guess what? When Maria checks on her in the bedroom, Ada's nowhere to be found. Panic mode activated. They search high and low, but can't locate her anywhere. It's like she vanished into thin air. Maria's freaking out, but he's like, relax, I'll find her. They're out there, on the hunt, searching for their precious little girl, but no luck. It's hopeless, and they're ready to throw in the towel. Then, out of the blue, Maria hears sheep noises coming from the barn. She rushes over there, and lo and behold, there's Ada cuddled up next to one of the mama sheep. Ah, how cute. They quickly snatch her away from the chilly sheepy snuggles and take her back inside, safe and sound. As time goes by, Ada becomes the star of the family, especially for Maria. She's super attached to Ada, like inseparable BFFs. But here's the twist. Maria starts having these wild nightmares about those sheep plotting to swipe Ada from her. Talk about freaky. Naturally, she's freaking out about her daughter's safety. So she cooks up a plan to deal with the sheepy threat. One night, while everyone's snoozing, she sneaks outside and bam, shoots Ada's mother. Yikes, that's dark. Maria buries the poor sheep without knowing that Ingvar's brother, Peter, who just popped in, witnessed the whole thing. Drama! Drama! Meanwhile, Peter's staying in the barn, and in the middle of the night, he spots a freaking human-sheep hybrid. What the heck, right? He probably thinks he's hallucinating. But hey, it's a small-town mystery. Next day rolls around, and Peter's hanging with Ingvar, happy to be back after ages away. But then Ada, all grown up now, shows up at the door. Maria's like, hey, this is Ada! Pater's not too thrilled, but he keeps his mouth shut. Awkward much? As the day goes on, Pater observes Maria and Ada having a blast together while Ingvar does some artsy stuff on the house. Pater slips back inside and watches them play together, probably still trying to process everything he's seen. When Ingvar swings by, he's all like, ugh, I can't stand Ada. But honestly, he can whine all he wants because Ada is the heart of our joy. At night, when Maria brings Ada to say goodnight to Ingvar, Pater tries to talk to him about keeping her around. But Ingvar shuts him down. He's like, nah, don't want to discuss it. You can stay as long as you want, but don't mess with our personal business. Maria's not too happy with Pater's attitude, so she asks Ingvar how long he plans to stay. Ingvar admits he might stick around for a while, mainly because he needs a hideout from people he owes money to. The next morning, while we're out planting potatoes in the field, the dog's supposed to watch over Ada, but she scares him off like a boss. During a break, Pater tries to make a move on Maria, but she's having none of it. He keeps complaining about having an animal inside the house, but Maria couldn't care less about his opinions when it comes to family matters. The next morning, Ingvar wakes him up to help clean the shed. In the process, 
Pater discovers his old drums and starts jamming like a maniac. Ada's enjoying it, but he gets annoyed with her. He even tries to mess with her by making her eat like a lamb. But Ingvar steps in and gives him a piece of his mind. One crazy night, Pater takes Ada for a walk without telling anyone and contemplates shooting her. But when he looks at her innocent face, he has a change of heart. Maria wakes up to find Ada missing from her cart, panics, and searches all over. Guess where she finds her? Sleeping peacefully in Pater's arms. Finally, he's come around and accepted her. Turns out, Maria and Ingvar had a daughter named Ada who's no longer with us. They named the lamb after her. Ingvar still carries the pain of losing their daughter, but Maria's there to comfort him. Surprisingly, Pater and Ada become close buddies, and he takes her out with him often. Seeing them get along, Ingvar and Maria are over the moon with happiness and relief. So, Ada and Pater were out fishing, having a good time. Pater starts reminiscing about the good old days with his buddy Ingvar. But oh no, their tractor decides to call it quits in the middle of the road. They can't figure out what's wrong, so they leave it there and walk home together. After a hearty dinner, they all gather to watch a game, but things take a sour turn when their team loses. Bummer! But fear not, Maria, to the rescue! She digs up an old music video of Pator and plays it, and suddenly the mood shifts, and they all start dancing along, having a blast and downing some drinks. Amidst the fun, Ada steps outside for a bit and bumps into her biological dad. It's a total shocker because she realizes she resembles him more than Maria or Ingvar. Back inside, Ingvar gets a bit too carried away with the drinks and ends up on the floor. Pator, being a good friend, helps him to bed, and Ada joins them. As they all settle down, Ada can't shake off the thoughts about her encounter with her father. Meanwhile, Pator decides to make a move on Maria, but she shuts him down. He tries to get her attention by threatening to reveal something about Ada's past, that Maria supposedly had something to do with her mother's death. Yikes! So, Maria, she's a clever one, you know? After listening to this dude, she's all like, Ha! Nice try, buddy! And tricks him into the closet. Can you believe it? He starts yelling and banging on that door like crazy, but Maria's got her game face on. She ain't falling for it! Next day rolls around, and Maria's like, Okay, time to bounce, dude! She wakes him up, kicks him out of the house, and drives him to the bus stop. Meanwhile, Ingvar wakes up, and he's searching high and low for Maria and Ada. But no worries, Ada's all chill and helping out with breakfast. Maria's a real sweetheart, you know? She's all upset about the dude's behavior, but still gives him some cash to help him out. Then she bids him farewell as he hops on that bus and leaves town. Now Ingvar's got Ada with him, and they're trying to fix some tractor trouble. They're bonding, and he's explaining how she can get back home if she gets lost. But darn, they can't fix the thing, so they head back home together. Maria's all happy when she gets back home, thinking they can now live peacefully with Ada. But wait, where are Ingvar and Ada? She can't find them anywhere! Suddenly, a gunshot rings out and Maria rushes to check on Ingvar. But oh no, there's this creepy hybrid creature thing that already killed her dog. It shoots poor Ingvar in the neck right in front of Ada. Heartbreaking stuff, I tell ya. So, Ada's torn, you know. She doesn't want to leave her dad, but her biological father swoops in and snatches her away. Ingvar's in total distress, helpless to do anything. Later on, Maria finds him all beat up and tries to help, but sadly, he doesn't make it. She's devastated and just cries her heart out. And there you have it, folks. The end of our little tale. Thanks for tuning in. And if you want more of these crazy stories, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button too if you want to support the channel. See you next time.